survivors. In this video, I am going to be talking about the Narciss sensitization mode. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsfathercoaching at gmail.com. The Narcissus Sensitization Mode. Sensitization is the quality or condition of responding to certain stimuli in a sensitive manner. The stimuli arouses activity or energy within the target. The narcissist repeats certain actions or behaviors to evoke the progressive amplification of a response from their target. It is the process of making someone react to something that previously had limited or no effect. Sensitization can be characterized by an enhancement of response to a whole class of stimuli in addition to the one that is repeated. Sensitization occurs when a reaction to a stimulus causes an increased reaction to a second stimulus. It is an exaggerated startle response and is often seen in trauma survivors. You may have developed sensitization while with a narcissist or from a previous encounter. Narcissists often scan their targets for any vulnerabilities, weaknesses or insecurities for them to exploit or take advantage of. You might be sensitive to certain visual stimulation, sounds, taste, touch or smells, or certain words, colours or scenarios. The sensitivity to certain stimuli usually develops from your past experiences. This may have been something you experienced with a narcissist or from a previous encounter. I am going to talk about my personal experience. It may not be the same as what you have experienced, but it should still be relevant. I was always very sensitive as a child. I hated having my hair cut or wearing anything made from wool. I was sensitive to touch. I experienced a lot of physical abuse and this then caused me to flinch if someone made a rapid movement or waved their arms around. It caused me to make a quick, nervous movement as an instinctive reaction to fear or pain. Following the rapid movement, I would then withdraw or shy away. As I grew older, I noticed that some narcissists around me began to pick up on this hypersensitivity that I had developed to rapid movement. They would then intentionally make rapid movements or wave their arms around to provoke fear within me or to force me to submit to them. I'm sure they were fully aware that my reactions were the effects of severe physical abuse, but of course, narcissists do not care. 
They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They specifically target people who have been abused as they are more susceptible to their abuse. The narcissist around me would intentionally make rapid movements and wave their arms around while having a conversation with me or while having a conversation with someone else and then directing their movements towards me. They intended to use these actions and behaviours as a way of controlling me and forcing me to submit to them. To make them feel powerful and in control. I'm sure they were fully aware of the potentially harmful effects that this may produce for me. But of course, narcissists do not care about the consequences of their actions. They just care about what they want in that moment. And if they find a vulnerable target who is susceptible to their abuse, they are going to take full advantage of it without any care or remorse for how it may affect them. They never acknowledge my response to their actions because they wanted to continue to exploit me and use me for their own benefit or gain. As time moved on, I began to notice that wherever I would go, people would follow me around and start doing these rapid movements around me. Wherever I would go, they would stand in front of me or sit next to me and start waving their arms around. They would then start kicking their legs and moving their feet to expand the sensitization. I then began to realize that I was the target of a network of abusers who were all following me around to exploit or take advantage of my hypersensitivity. Although I had this vulnerability, I still tried my best to be confident and hold my head high. I later realized that this made them feel inferior. It made them feel as though I am better than them, which then made them want to tear me down even more. It became a constant fight where I was trying to maintain my confidence and my happiness and contentment, while they were constantly trying to take it away to make themselves feel better. As well as the rapid movements, they also began to touch me and rub their bodies against me. They would make loud noises and produce strong smells. This was all intentional to exploit and expand my hypersensitivity to movement. As I said at the beginning of the video, sensitization can be characterized by an enhancement of response to a whole class of stimuli in addition to the one that is repeated. I was not sensitive to any other senses before being targeted by this network of abusers. But after many years of abuse, I am now sensitive to loud noises. I have been the target of a noise campaign which has continued for many years. The abusers often slam their car doors or their apartment doors outside where I live.
There is an abuser who lives above me, who has been banging the floor for over a year. And there were even people living there two years before, who also did the same thing. All of this behavior is intentional and they take full advantage of it and use it to further abuse me and sensitize me to the stimuli. I confronted them and of course they denied it and used gaslighting. I even contacted the police and they acted as though they weren't doing anything wrong. This is what narcissists do. They exploit your vulnerabilities, weaknesses or insecurities and then use them to further abuse you. Following many years of this abusive treatment, I now experience sensory overload. This occurs when one or more of the body senses experiences overstimulation from the environment. I may even have developed sensory processing disorder, which is a condition in which the brain has trouble receiving and responding to information that comes in through the senses. I hope that by sharing my personal experience, I have helped you to further understand the narcissist sensitization mode. People need to be aware of what these covert abusers are doing to vulnerable people. Sensory processing disorder can affect anyone. Studies indicate that 5 to 16% of children exhibit symptoms of SPD. If a narcissist can exploit or take advantage of a vulnerable person, I'm sure they won't, ha they won't have any care or remorse for a child that has SPD. You may have experienced another form of sensitization and I look forward to reading about it in the comment section. I hope this video has validated what you have experienced. This is a very serious form of abuse. It can affect your focus, memory, learning ability, coordination, spatial awareness, and your ability to engage or interact. It causes you to feel sudden shock or panic. It increases cortisol levels and keeps you in a constant state of fight or flight. You may develop sensory processing disorder, adrenal fatigue, anxiety, chronic stress or depression. There is very little information about this and I believe that I am the first person to link this exploitative behavior to narcissism. Please like the video and share it so that other survivors of this form of abuse will, will see it. Share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal links in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. We have a private Reddit community where survivors and thrivers can share their experiences and knowledge. 
If you are interested in being a part of this community, you can sign up for our Patreon page. The link is in the video description. Check out the Narc Survivor merchandise store where you can purchase your own Narc Survivor t-shirt or mug. We have a variety of designs and it is a great way to support the channel. The link to our Narc Survivor merchandise store is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.